Okay, so I'm going to show you the proofs of the difference in some identities for cosines, so these, these two trig identities. So just a, a proof is the mathematical reason why something works. And so first we're going to start with cosine of a minus b. Spoiler alert, this is the identity. And what I want to show you is why or, or how. Okay, so we've got cosine of a minus b. So I think clearly you have to have angles a and b for this to work, right? So here we are, two angles a and b. These are starting from standard position. So we're starting from here and then we're, we're going into the standard position. And I want to focus our gaze and really kind of figure out what is going on here. So blow that up. Okay, so this is the unit circle. So this is the point one zero. And also, so with what we know of trig and the unit circle, so if I have this angle here, so if I take cosine of this angle, that gets me the, the x coordinate. If I take sine of this angle, that gets me the y coordinate. And then for, for a over here, so same idea, right? So I've got cosine of a, sine of a, same ideas, right? So we know that about trig, we know that about the unit circle. So what I want you to do now is I want you to visualize where would this a minus b, if I were to, to do this, what would that look like? Okay, a minus b, here's all of a, here's b, so you're probably thinking to yourself, oh, here we go, a minus b. Okay, cool, so that's a minus b, but I wanna maintain that angle, and now I wanna start it at the standard position. So remember, standard position means you start here. So I want this same angle just starting from standard position. So if I do that, I'm gonna have this like boop, 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 boop over here. I'm gonna like rotate it right here to get this a minus b from standard position. So that's kind of where that comes from. So I know we're looking at a lot here. Just stay with me for a moment. So what I wanna do now is I just wanna label the points that I have. So let's call this point P, um, let's call this Q, let's call this R, let's call this S, and then here we're at the origin, so this is the origin. And then this, this point R, so I know that this is the angle now A minus B, right? That's what we called this, so it's the angle A minus B from standard position. So I can just use cosine and sine, again, since this is the unit circle, I can label this point R as cosine of A minus B and sine of A minus B. All right, this is going somewhere, just, just stay with me, all right? All right, so now I wanna narrow our focus a little bit. I wanna show you what really matters in this picture. We needed all these lines to kind of get us going, but now, like, for what we're trying to prove, I'm going to narrow our focus. So I've, I've gotten rid of kind of the stuff that doesn't matter. So we're just looking at like A minus B from two different directions, right? And then I've kept all the points labeled. So you'll see kind of why we're doing this in a second. Okay, so from here to here and from here to here, these distances are the same, right? Because in both cases, this was the angle A minus B as is this. So whatever these distances are, these are going to be the exact same distances. So more specifically, this distance from S Q is the same as the distance from R to P, right? So we can see that, we believe that. All right, so now, I want to describe this equality, however I want to use the distance formula. So remember your distance formula looks like this. All right, so let's do that. So I've got SQ equals RP. So this is what I'm trying to get to, SQ, RP. All right, so to start with SQ, I'm going to use these points. So I'm going to take, you know, let's use this as my, my Y2, let's use this as my Y1. And then here's my x2 and here's my x1. So if I fill in that distance formula, I take the difference of the y coordinates, so sine a minus sine b, and then I and I square that, and then I've got plus the dis, the difference of the x coordinates. So bada bing, bada boom. Okay, and then set that equal. Now we got to work on r p. So these distances here. So what points do I need in that case? I need to use these points, right? Same idea. Take the difference of the y coordinates. So in this case, sine of a minus b minus zero, so there's my y coordinates, so I've got that listed. Cosine of a minus b minus one, square all that. Okay, we're good. All right, so now that uh, now I'm, I'm done with this picture, I don't need it anymore. We're gonna focus on the equation and we're gonna see what we get. And just as a reminder, what was our goal? Our goal was to solve for cosine of a minus b. 
we can see that in here. Now, don't get too hung up on the goal. For now, we really want to sort out the algebra. So we'll, we'll make some steps to solve for a minus, cosine of a minus b, but we're just going to kind of end up doing a lot of algebra. So first things first, I want to square both sides because they're both under square roots, right? So we want to square them. Now I've got all of this stuff here. I've just gotten rid of the square roots. And I want to foil or multiply all of this stuff out. So I've got to multiply this by itself. So I've got to do sine of a minus sine of b times sine of a minus sine of b and cosine of a minus cosine of b times cosine of a times cosine of uh, minus cosine of b. Okay, so we're going to multiply all that together. So I'm just going to go through piece by piece. I actually, I, I maybe I'll, I'll go back for a second. I think for you to truly get the details here, Personally, I think you should multiply these out and then see if your answer matches mine. So I'm going to color code everything as I multiply it out. So taking sine of a minus sine of b, so here's everything I get for that first one. And then as I move on to cosine of a minus cosine of b, so see I've color coded it here. So now I've got this detail here. And now moving to the other side, so notice that the sine of a minus b um, uh, to the zero, oops, sorry, I dropped my little squared thing here. Let me. Okay, boom, just brought that back. Okay, so just notice sine of a minus b minus zero, all of this could just be simplified. So um, I, I point that out because in the next line, so I just simplify this to sine squared a minus b, right? Because that, that zero, I, I don't need it anymore. And then um, if I foil out, so cosine of a minus b minus one, I get this whole expression here. Okay, so now I've got this. This is like a whole bunch of stuff. And what I want to do is I want to recall the Pythagorean identities. So I have these Pythagorean identities and specifically I want this one right here. Anytime I see a pair of sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta, so where these are the same like angle measure, those I can just call one. Okay. So that's important because as I'm recalling my Pythagorean identities, so look on, so remember this whole side here, this is all kind of together. So I can see sine squared a cosine squared a, and then I've got, sine squared b cosine squared b. And then on this side over here, I have sine squared a minus b cosine squared a minus b. So all of these pairs, they each become a one, right? Because of the Pythagorean identity. So I can rewrite all of this now getting rid of, you know, all those pairs and I've, I've rewritten now what I am left with. Okay. And so, all right. So now I can add up the ones. So I add my ones. Here's what I'm left with. All right, so now um, let's let's keep going with this. And remember, we were trying to solve for cosine of a minus b, which at first probably looked like really nightmarish. But now actually notice we're just down to this singular cosine a minus b because everything else has kind of fallen out of the equation. So kind of cool. OK, so anyways. Um, all right. So let's let's focus on this. Um, so I've got a two on each side so I can see that I can cancel out the twos. So then I'm left with this. And so notice I've got negative two sine a sine b minus two cosine a cosine b equals negative two cosine a minus b. So obviously I can divide everything by negative two. So if I divide everything by negative two, now I'm left with this and <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. I wasn't I trying to solve for this? Oh my God, I just solved for it. And thus an identity is found. And I know you're like, this is for sure you right now, right? Okay. so. Cosine of a difference, boom, that's it. That's the identity. We actually just proved it. Okay, so next, cosine of a plus b. This one is gonna be not nearly as difficult. So spoiler, again, I'll just tell you what's gonna happen here. We're going to prove that this is the identity. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna do something clever here. So I've got cosine of a plus b. Um, I could rewrite that as cosine of minus minus b. Those are equivalent, right? And by writing this now, I can just use that identity that we just took all that time to prove. Remember this one, cosine of a difference? Don't didn't I just write this as a difference? So <laughs> I've technically now expressed this as a difference. Therefore, this equals cosine of a times cosine of negative b plus cosine of a times cosine of negative b. So Okay, cool. All right, so now what do I do? Well, now I think back to my even odd identities and the ones that I want in this case are these two right here, which talk about what to do when you have sine of negative theta or cosine of negative theta. Then I can just apply those and say that 
this will be cosine of b ultimately, and sine of negative b will equal negative sine of b. So I can really just create a sign change here. And so this equals cosine of a times cosine of b minus sine of a times sine of b. And now it's like, oh my god, <laughs> we did it again. Oh, we're the best. Okay. I love us. All right. So here they are, our two identities. We have proved them and now we can use them. However, in the interest of keeping this video a bit shorter, I have decided that um, I will show you various examples of how to use these, these identities. I'll do those in another video. So you can check out the description if you are looking for exercises and different ways and, and instruction on how to do that. And if you found this video helpful, please consider leaving it a like, a comment, sharing it with some friends, or subscribing to the channel. And otherwise, I will see you guys in another video. Thanks for watching.